All right, I want to read a comment to you from a subscriber who left this comment a day ago. I am in Fort Walton Beach area. Very mild winds, moderate rain. I'm no meteorologist, but I wouldn't have called that a hurricane. I was going to drive to the area today, but they are reporting the roads are closed. May drive that way tomorrow. I wrote, if you do drive around, please report back to us what you see. And they did. They did report back. I want you to see that Fort Walton Beach is 56 miles away from Panama City Beach. And he reports driving into Lynn Haven, Panama City. I, one of the reasons why I'm posting this is because mainstream media is telling you that it's the panhandle. It is not the panhandle. It is a 23-mile zone, Mexico Beach, Tyndall Air Force Base, and Panama City. Um, but, all right, Lynn Haven, sorry, is, um, well, <laughs> it is part of, or right outside of, Panama City. This is what he or she reports. I was able to drive to the Lynn Haven area of Panama City, so it is within Panama City. Police were inquiring about where you were heading. The people in front of me had their license out at the ready and showed the cop. I did not. He let me through. Funny how nervous I felt when I stopped at their little checkpoint. As I drove on 20, oh my god. The reason why I stopped doing videos over is because this is a constant with uh, the noise here, so I apologize. Um, as I drove on 20, there was no damage or debris. Small swath of damage at um, Ebro. Turned on 79, saw a few trees down, smaller ones, but no debris or limbs on the road, median or sides. I passed some very old mobile homes that weathered the storm just fine on 388 I believe that's the road it runs to the airport again more of the same no damage at the end of that road turning on to 77 is where I saw the storm's effect numerous trees down buildings damaged power poles down wires in the road no electricity it was surprising I just hadn't expected it because of the nothingness of the storm in my area. I had just been to Mexico Beach and the Port St. Joe area from the 6th through the 8th. I mentioned to my traveling companion how many cell towers there were on this spit of land. Also told him about Gwen Towers, which he hadn't heard of. As I surveyed the damage in my car, I was struck because it looked like there were excessive amounts of damage at the bases and surrounding area of these towers. It made me wonder, were these towers being struck with or emitting frequencies that intensified the storm within a certain radius? Well, that can absolutely happen. There were a few towers that, while not being directly across from one another, catty corner to each other, it's like a cell, it's like a little cell tower corridor of damage occurred. Back to Ebro, Ebro mentioned earlier, the small swath of damage, yep, was at the base of a cell tower. Oh, and the towers and the little shoe boxes at the top were just fine. No damage at all. Maybe this was a tower sustainability test which they passed with flying colors. Sorry to all the collateral damage to the peons in the town. Also, this may be nothing, but 15 VIP reservations were made at a car rental place at the Fort Walton Beach Airport on the 12th. 
These include bands. Maybe the evil scientist government officials were here to survey their success. Nine VIPs today. He links or she links to an interesting post. Also, I saw about 200 people in line at Sunny's Barbecue. They had their truck with propane and were selling food. People must not have many emergency provisions. The mainstream media article that I worked off of in the last video that I posted, it was at Sunny's Barbecue where people were getting tents and either the owner of or an employee of Sunny's yelled at the top of his voice, stop it, everybody has to be kind here which I never mentioned in that article. It was at Sonny's Barbecue. But where did they get the food to grill? Or did they have generators? I don't know. But the article that's claiming that these people are desperate in this area and this subscriber can get to that area with no problem. There's so many areas around Panama City, Mexico Beach, Beach, and nobody's helping them and bringing in food. This is not an island like Puerto Rico. So when you have a subscriber who can drive right into that area, the area that mainstream media is claiming is devastated and people are desperate for food, you could have so many people just driving into this area bringing food. So for days and days and days, no one did that. Not even FEMA or the Red Cross. Yeah, something is very wrong here. But we need more people like uh, KAABE41. We need more people going into these areas and reporting back what they saw. Thank you for this detailed report. I don't know what to say, guys. Our world has become a lying mess. And when we live lies, exaggerations, people pretending, acting, and not genuine, you you can only descend into utter chaos of just not knowing what the hell is going on. It is why I hate lying, drama queens, exaggeration, pretense. The only, the only thing that gives us sanity, health, good health, overall health, healthy society is truth. And I do not understand for the life of me why it is that we have so many people who feel quite fine with lying. Do they not understand the ripple effect of their actions? I guess not. Or they do and they don't care. Thank you again very much for this report.